steady decline. That's the reality of keeping a person in a high security prison for years on end. Um, he's fighting for his life, so he's fighting. Um, and there are hope, there are moments of, of uh, hope and even happiness. Like our wedding was a lovely moment of pure happiness in spite of the uh, horrible surroundings, but even those surroundings softened uh, for, you know, an hour and a half. Uh, we had the ceremony with John and my mom and my brother Adrian and Gabriel. And uh, even the staff seemed to soften and celebrate. But that place is horrible. I mean, it is just the, the opposite of uh, everything that's good about humanity. It is a, a dark, brutal place, and that's where they placed him, alongside murderers who are serving sentences for murder. That's what it's like. When I'm speaking to Julian, I try to remind him of what life is like outside those walls. Because after a while, those walls become your world. You know? Uh, so, you know, even the most mundane things. Um, just to remind him that there's a reality outside that he can touch and feel if he can imagine it. Uh, and so I try to do that connection to, to the outside as much as I can. Um, but you know, this is, yeah, these are our lives, um, that we're exposing for everyone to see, to remind people that Julian is a human being, because he's just been so dehumanized, and when you dehumanize a person, you can do anything to them from history, and that's what they're doing to Julie. John and Gabriel have been able to visit him recently, um, and he is able to speak to other prisoners when he's outside of the cell, um, for things like collecting food. He has to eat in his cell, but he didn't go out to collect food. Uh, except when the prison has had COVID lockdown. Um, and uh, the yard um, on a... Usually he can access the yard uh, unless there's a... like once a day for under an hour. Um, if he has a legal visit or a social visit on that coincides with the time that he would be out on the yard, and he doesn't have the yard with it. Um, so it's, you know, it's, it's extremely, um, an extreme, extreme routine. Uh, and, uh, but obviously his social interactions are extremely limited with guards and prisoners and the people that the prison approves to be on his list of contacts. Uh, things like uh, his the amount of money that he has in his weekly allowance will influence how many calls he can make and so on. Uh, he's you know he's a, he's not serving a sentence. It is a, an environment in which he has no um, he has no control over his uh, no 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 autonomy basically. Um, Apart from, uh, yeah, the, the people he chooses to call, and, um, and that's about it. 